What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, welcome to not so sunny South Florida. You guys, we just got home from Everglades City. We were down at a meet and greet at the seafood festival with my good buddy Jimmy who owns Everglades Fishing Company. I did not film much at the festival. There were so many people and so many awesome fans. And if you came to shake my hand, I much appreciate it. Uh, the reason I didn't do much filming is because it was all about the fans. There was tons of kids and tons of grown ups and everybody wanted to just talk fishing. So I put the camera down and shook a bunch of hands. Saturday though was probably the nicest day of weather we've had in Florida in a long time. So in true Blue Gabe fashion, Crystal and I loaded up the Pro Drive and we went fishing for a couple hours just to get away. Just when I was bragging that I was whooping you. Oh yeah, don't come off. I did not get a good hook set. That's it's a red. That's a fish of the day. Nice red. Nice red. You better get the net, buddy. Beautiful red. Come on oh, with him. That, this is our dinner right here. Don't lose him. Nice. Just, yeah. when, I, just when I was talking yeah. smack. Y'all, she just whooped me. Yeah. One Dang, fish. What a fish, Gabe. He is drumming like crazy. Look at that beautiful nice. red fish. They're not colored up really nice here. That is stuck perfectly in the corner of his mouth. Show him to us real quick. Wow. Hey, we're gonna beautiful, have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful redfish. Redfish tacos for dinner. Nice game. Y'all, she might have caught the biggest. But this is number two for me. Even though it's like a redfish just smaller. Look at that. Look at that. See, I got a bonus fish. Guys, leave a comment below if your girlfriend or your wife. Well, your daughter outfishes you almost every time you go. I was actually trying. I wasn't just letting her have the front of the boat like I normally do, and she still caught the biggest. I did catch the most, though. I think I caught three or four little reds and a little snook. We had an absolute blast, but we only fished for a couple hours. They had a big concert at the Seafood Festival, and we just enjoyed our time. Update, I did get my new Pro Drive put on. This one's just like my old one, except for this one has instant reverse, and I'm gonna show you all of that and probably either the next video or the one after that. Uh, upcoming video, you're gonna get to see this entire motor. Huge shout out to my dad, my son Jake, for helping me take the old one off and put the new one on, and here she is in all her glory. And a huge shout out to my dad for stocking us up on firewood for our upcoming camping video we're gonna do. We're gonna go somewhere really cool and spend a couple days out in the woods just living off the land, and I needed firewood, dad hooked it up. Now it's time to get this puppy out of the ice and clean it for breakfast. I will be the first one to admit, that wasn't my smoothest cleaning job. I've never used that knife. I don't know where the knife is that I normally use, but it wasn't out there and it's raining and it's cold, but we got the job done. You're about to meet Crystal's cousin, Jay, from Delaware. She's in here doing homework with the kids. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Y'all are lo looking super excited in here. Oh yeah. Are you ready it's to show a, them your new a kids? Fun day of school. What? Your new kids. My children? Yeah. If y'all didn't know, we've had a new delivery to the family. We've been hiding from y'all. Right here it is. If you watched our last video when we were planting seeds. Aren't they cute? We told you guys we got one of these little trays. How long? It didn't take but a week. No, it was so much fun too. We kept peeking at it, peeking at it. Finally we got plants when we got back from the seafood fest. What's what? Um, uh, okra squash, green beans, and this is cucumber. So what's the next step with these guys? We're just gonna let them grow a little bit bigger. I'm actually gonna trim, cause we planted two seeds per pod. So now we need to trim back the one, like the lesser of the two. And then we'll plant them. So first step with the most amazing breakfast you'll ever make, we gotta take the potatoes, which are these. 
these and some onions and put them in that pan. Once you get it all in the pan, hit over some more olive oil. Then we're gonna go heavy with the seasonings. We're gonna use some Ken Cooker Original Creole. Lowry's garlic salt. A little bit of sea salt. Just let it cook. So I got the flay broke down, brought it inside, got out of the rain, cut all the bloodline out, and I have them all cut down into proportionate sizes. When you're cooking this dish, always make the potatoes first. They take the longest. Stir them every couple minutes until you can take this spatula and just poke it right through the potato. But these aren't done yet. We're going with a little bit of Creole because redfish needs to be blackened. You can't cook redfish any other way. It just wouldn't be American. Make sure you hit it on both sides. Now we're not going to eat at the table because they're doing their schoolwork, but you guys look at that. A runny egg, awesome potatoes, some black and red fish that Crystal caught us. Well, Redneck, hello. Hello, good morning. He's been over at the neighbor's house. You guys, we've got a little bit of a mess to clean up. Not that big of a mess. And then we're going to get into something fun and I'm going to go over some things I've been wanting to talk about for a while and tell you a little bit about things you haven't seen and what you can plan on seeing in the future. Try that. Thumbs good? Up, thumbs down. I didn't what know if he was going for the garbage can or what. <laughs> Is it good? Okay. I just took a bite of egg and fish together and it actually pairs really well. Yeah. The reason I do the runny egg is so when you pop it like that, you can add just a little bit of that runny egg to that. Man, Listen, that's good. You made some good looking eggs. Yeah. They're perfect. You know what the key to a good looking egg is? Put a lid on it. Mm -hmm. Come here, Jay. <laughs> you, you guys, this is Crystal's cousin, Jay. Introduce him, babe. Where's he from? Jason Beachy from Delaware. Bon appetit. It's yummy. They're done with their homework? Um, I gotta work with Jake a little bit, but Luke's done. Luke can give me nuts. Listen, in the last video, you showed him a new knife. What is that? A lighter. Why do you need a lighter for? Because it has green fire. Look at his outfit. If you guys wonder about my outfit sometimes, just look at Luke's. That's wearing all gray. How is it, Jake? It's so good. I didn't think you'd like the spiciness of the Creole. Everybody eats fish for lunch and dinner. Make it for breakfast. I just got done sneezing. That Creole's got some pepper in it. Make fish for breakfast. It's a game changer. So now that breakfast is done, I got to tell you about the next project we're doing on the Pro Drive. So a good friend of mine, Timmy Hampton, who owns Logan Sport Marina in Kentucky, is all about electronics. And you guys know that I am infested with catfishing. Well, the Ottawa Hall River, our camp in Georgia, where you've seen us do all kinds of limb lines, we've caught some up to like 40 pounds, but we've never caught one bigger. We've been doing some research, and I think if I have side scan and some 3D imaging and live scope, I'll be able to find these catfish that live in these log jams in that river and hopefully be able to break a 100 pound catfish. That's my goal. In the next couple months, I wanna to try to catch at least a 90 to 100 pound blue cat. So I got all the electronics. Crystal and her cousin Jay are taking the boat out to Timmy and he's gonna install everything today. But I wanna take it back to the seafood festival. Everybody knows the seafood festival is all about food. Well, I went to all the vendors and I tried everything they had to offer. I'm gonna take it back and show you guys what, in my opinion, won first place on the food. You guys, the best thing at the Everglades Seafood Festival, actually it isn't even seafood. <laughs> it's the world's best jalapeno popper. 1,000%. <laughs> Literally the best All thing day. ever. You guys, Luke he takes the award right here. Who's catering and backyard barbecue. Luke, he does catering all over the Southeast, right? That's right, yes sir. You guys, these things right here, <laughs> They're smoked. They've got like sweet cream cheese. Yeah, honey cream cheese. His brisket. Yes, sir. Lord. That one made smoked brisket. Yeah. Secret recipe. Appreciate you, brother. 
He I'm takes the cake, you guys. I'm not even showing anything else because he clearly won. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate y'all. Come check us out. Thanks, Kate. We appreciate you Thank stopping you. by. Catch you guys real soon. Mm. Heard you caught some fish today. <laughs> she caught the only keeper. Beachy did. <laughs> Amen. Dude, those poppers were insane. I know everybody's like, well, that's not even seafood. Well, you know what? That's what won, in my opinion. Those guys knocked it out of the park. Crystal is absolutely hilarious when she's hooking up to a boat. Her truck's much lower than mine, so we gotta lower it down. Jake, it's cold out here. Are you guys really going fishing today? Gone fishing. <laughs> so they're actually going to Okeechobee now. She's gonna drop the boat off. Her and Jay are going crappie fishing, and me and the boys will be out later. The fish don't mind the rain. How oh, you can't give me knucks with a huge ring like that? That's cheating. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Babe, how good were the poppers at the seafood festival? The jalapeno poppers were the best thing I've ever ate in my whole life. I'm telling you guys. This was just a short video, just something that we're doing today. I am uploading now every Monday and Thursday. And I know I told you about things to come. Well, we're going to Venice, Louisiana in about a week or two. Joe VT is on a new boat out there and he's running it himself. And I'm so excited. Me and Captain Tom with Blind Date Charters. My good friend Tanner in Nebraska. Crystal, Tom's wife, are all going to Venice to fish with Joey on his all new boat. Dude, this is going to be stupid fun. In the meantime, we're packing up this boat tomorrow and we're going camping and y'all are riding along. So be patient. Today was just a filler video, just some things that we were doing at the house. We've got a lot more to come. Thursday's video is gonna be super exciting and I'm so appreciative to all y'all watching me. Right now though, this video is ending. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, but like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. Get the heck out of shape.